Hello, hello, my spiritual people, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today, we are going to be pulling Rise and Shine messages for Monday morning, November the 22nd. Um, if you happen to find this video after and it resonates with you, listen, there might be something in here that you can take away from you. Today, I decided not only to bring out my sage, I also decided to bring out my selenite. This is one of the first pieces that I ever got. It is the biggest piece that I own, <laughs> okay? Um, I own many, but let me tell you, this is the biggest. Believe me, if it was up to me, I would find bigger. I would fill up a whole room with them, you know? Right now, I could fill up a table, but I, it would be really nice if I could fill up a room with them. Anyway, so here we, even before I meditated, I already got um, five cards for you. So I am going to be taking them. For those of you that are looking to book a reading, as far as this week, I will not be taking any personal readings. I will be taking personal readings probably next week. Um, you know, the move between work and the move and, you know, just doing a whole bunch of other things, you know time is so limited. So I am only giving those of you that need these guidance videos. I also have put out night vision um, messages, which is anything that is hidden, anything that, you know, may help you move along. Okay. So listen, we're going to get to these and we're going to see what we have here. Come to the edge. Listen, it's time. Oh my God, that sun is going to be kicking some of you in the face. So I will be putting these cards here, okay? But listen, maybe that's what you need. Maybe that's what some of you need. Listen, it is rise and shine. There's always a brand new day. Um, you know, for those of you that are sitting down crying because I've been getting a lot of grieving videos and just a whole bunch of little things, you know, not even little things, anxiety, mental attacks, you know, you need to raise yourself up. If you are not doing the work, listen, you cannot expect um, the universe to help you. You know, our main thing here is to come here and to fix the things that we didn't fix in our past lives and to live a better life, you know, and I'm going to leave that sun shining. And if some of you can't take the sun, then you know what? Put the phone down and just listen. Because I say that one of the things that people also have to do is listen. Um, you know, every time that I take the GPS to go somewhere, I never try to see it. I try to just listen to it and let the GPS guide me by just listening. You know, so sometimes listen, that could be Listen to your own intuition. Listen to yourself. Listen to that little voice that is speaking to some of you on the other shoulder, on the other side of your shoulder. Okay, we have the devil energy and the angel energy in our in each our side. You choose what you want to do here right now. Okay, I just felt like I had to say that um, with a lot of passion. Um, come to the edge. Listen, it's time. It's time to take a risk. It's time to move ahead. It's time to um, push yourself. I understand that sometimes it is hard. You don't know what's over the edge. It scares you. It's something that could be very frightening. But look at this. In this particular card, okay, she is dancing around the edge. Not really sure. Do I jump? Yes. Just be careful where, okay? I want to show you the sun for a little while to show you that the sun comes out every day, even if it's through the clouds, okay? Because let me tell you, I moved to this area right now after being in the other room because it was so dark. And I came here and look at the sun that is coming now through this window, okay? building blocks anything that has fallen down listen it is time to build it up some of you are trying to put something together this could be building a career this could be building your path this could be going into a brand you know new different thing this is looking i want you to see this girl she is looking what are the possibilities that i what can i do what can i do what could be different what can i change as I'm building this empire for myself, okay? Um, to the sea. Some of you could be taking a trip to go somewhere, okay? Others of you are just moving away from something. 
Okay, some of you are going to the middle of the ocean, maybe just to think for a little while. And listen, this is not like really get in a boat and go in the middle of the ocean. It is, you know, put yourself some, some meditation music and guide yourself to a better, more calming place, okay? Um, we also have here a leg up. Allow yourself to be given help if you need it. You know, there's somebody here who wants to give you some help. Help is, is necessary. You know, I understand that sometimes we as human beings, we try to feel or make the other person think like we don't need anybody. Listen, we all need somebody. We all need somebody. Okay. So let's see why if you have the questions look for them those are the answers that are going to free you from whatever it is that you've been holding on to um from whatever it is listen sometimes we really do need to learn what the answers are you know i feel that with these feathers out of that book and when i always look at it i always think about freedom you know releasing something releasing something because you already know the answer to something why? Why did this happen? All right, we're going to see what we have here. Please, universal energies. We're going to do this a three card spread. And the first one, oh, look at this. Look at this. I get three right off the bat. All right, so we, you know what? We're going to take them. We have here the star. With the star, this is. Um, evening out your cups there's two cups that you have one on each side you know um you're near this this flamingo i don't know when i see flamingos i think i don't know if they're dangerous or not i don't think they are but when i see a flamingo i think about tenderness for some reason um and a lot of pink of course and pink is my favorite color but you know what with these two cups here notice as she is releasing and letting go of the things that she has been carrying she's like you know what i'm gonna let this go this has been too heavy i can't do this anymore it's time for me to let it go so that i can heal okay some of you listen i talk to the universe every day in my own form you know um, you know, whether it's through meditation, whether it's through thinking, whether it's through grounding yourself, um, whether it's through um, listening, listen to anything, okay? Whatever makes you calm at the moment, you know? So some of you, I feel that you have to heal. Listen, clear out your platter is what I just heard. Clear out your path. Clear out the obstacles that are holding some of you back, okay? Okay. I think that some of you need to realize that there was something in the past that you put a lot of work into with the seven of pentacles. This is putting a lot of work into something and not seeing the fruits of your labor. This is not um, getting the plants that you have planted, okay? This is not getting, this is planting the seeds and saying, holy shit, like this is seven years later, you know, and I still am so discontent with the way that I see things. You know, so for some of you, this is why you have to clear out your plate. You're carrying too much garbage around. You're carrying too much stuff that really is so unnecessary. Take those chances. Build yourself up into a better place. The Six of Pentacles, balance. Balance yourself out, okay? This is gorgeous. You know, in some readings, this could be, um, you know, a... Wow, you know what? We're going to concentrate on this reading. But you know what? In Right now, without a clarifier, this is balancing yourself out when it comes to money, when it comes to certain things in your life, when it comes to saying, you know what, universe, I am willing to do the work and I am willing to put myself in a better place. Okay? I like this at the end. Okay? For some of you. So let's see. Let's try to keep this positive. Holy... Holy sage and holy selenite, okay? Please, universal energies. Spirit guides, ancestors, why is the star here? The star, why is the star here? Please, universal energies. Let's see, we got two. Oh my God. Let me tell you, for those of you that didn't see Thursday's night vision, 
Friday Rise and Shine messages. Go back and look at that for those of you that are having a hard time letting something go. Okay, some of you, listen, need to walk away from this. Somebody here could have walked away from this energy. I get this constantly. The Eight of Cups is something that I have been seeing now for about the past many readings. You know, somebody walking away. You know, third party energy showing up here. More than two people in the mix. This is arguments. This is somebody feeling super defeated. Like I lost this fucking game. I can't believe I lost. I am angry. You know, I am going to continue to fight about how angry I am. And exactly the way it sounds in my voice, it's exactly the way that I'm hearing it. It's exactly the way that spirit is coming through. You know, somebody here is very angry. And I've been getting that for the last couple of readings for you guys. These universal energies. And keep in mind that these have, you know, I don't put out signs for these because these are more like for the people that want to heal, for the people that want to see what is it, what is it that you have to do in order to get out of this, you know? Why is the five? You know what? Let's go to the eight. Eight of cups. Why is it here? Eight of cups. Why is it here? Please universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors. And listen, you guys see me do this. <laughs> I clean these cards and I continue to get the same thing. I don't know about you, but I'm getting bored. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a little bored with the same story. Like, come on, let's get different energies here, guys. Let's do the work. Like I said, next week I will be doing a, a video on how is it that you do the work to get yourself out of a bad place, you know, because some of you continue to stay here, you know, five of pentacles, feeling super rejected is what I just heard. Okay. And I'm going to have to put this on pause because you know what? I need some water. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. I drink a lot of water. Um, okay, so listen up. With the Eight of Cups, okay? Eight of Cups. And the Five of Pentacles. Okay, some of you are feeling absolutely terrible because this person walked away. There's somebody here who was like, you know what? I'm emotionally drained from this situation. And I feel that for some of you, this was a third party, you know, because now you have the five of pentacles and the five of, of swords, you know. So, you know, some of you are, are I'm going to tell you again, this is financial troubles as well. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to show you what's here, but I will not be taking this. There's a shift here that may have come in for some of you. Something that shift you. Okay? Something that shift you. Why? Because listen, you were on the bad journey. You were not on the journey that you were sent to serve. Okay? Um, so let's see. Why is the five of pentacles here? This is your present energy. So some of you are going through some bad stuff right now. You're going through something hard because somebody here walked away. Please, universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors, please bring forward. And if you don't do the work, you will continue to hear these readings. Because I can't change it because this is your energy that I am picking up for those of you that come to watch. You know, um, Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to tell you, some of you may have to look for the opportunity. There may be an opportunity coming for you because some of you are having financial issues now. You know, whether this person um, took care of you with the Six of Pentacles, okay, they took care of you. I feel like there's somebody here who has completely shut the door on this situation. And therefore, some of you will have to go out and fend for yourself. And keep in mind that the energies could be reversed. You know, you could have been giving some somebody some money and... Now this person has to go fend for themselves because you walked away. Okay, take it as it fits because not everybody will have the same thing. Some of you, listen, this could be a spiritual awakening. Some of you, maybe, there might be marriage within this third party. Okay, but with the hierophant here, listen, it is time to wake up. It is time to go into some healing. It is time to get the help that you need, okay? It is okay to find yourself a teacher, a guide to guide you through life. Listen, we are not here alone. Um, there are many tower readers here who guide people through these journeys. 
you know, I know that a lot of them, you know, it's a she loves me, he loves me. And you know what? That is not doing the work, you know? So for me, um, when I do these readings, yeah, there, I have a very small selective amount of people. But you know what? I am trying to get to those of you that need the help to transition from where you are to where you are going. You cannot be in a good place if you don't take care of this, okay? Um, so why is the Hierophant here? I'm going to go to the Five of Swords as well because that's also in your present energy. Um, please, Universal Energies, why is the Hierophant here? Hierophant, why is it here? Listen, go get a reading, okay? <laughs> Book me next week. Um, the, 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 em oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> the Emperor. Okay, so listen, take control of your life. You know, some of you could have been dealing with somebody that was very manipulative, I'm hearing, because, you know, um, when, the, when the Five of Swords is here, I pick it up with the Emperor. I pick it up as somebody who's manipulative, somebody who kind of, you know, kind of used you like a rag doll. You know, they said what you needed to do, and some of you did it. You know, and some of you are now angry that you did all this stuff, and now this person, like, closed the fucking door. Like, what the hell? Like, why did I self-sacrifice myself? For the last, you know, for some of you, this is five years. For others of you, this may be seven. Okay, because that's what I'm picking up with the five and the seven of pentacles. So, um, page of pentacles. Somebody here needs to go find a job. Okay, some of you need to either find a job. Um, it is time to take control. It is time to raise yourself up. It is time to do the work. It is time to put yourself in a better place. But nobody can do this but yourself. This is taking baby steps toward the future. Okay? This is looking toward the future and taking baby steps. This for me is almost like having to start over. Okay? And it's okay sometimes. Listen, we are not meant. Look at the sun shining again. We are not meant to continue. You know? to um you know to just smooth along we are meant to go up and down whatever goes up must come down whatever goes right must come left you know um it is what it is and some of you you know this there's work lacking here for some of you what is doing the work cutting all ties with whatever is not serving you anymore <laughs> and we will talk about that next you know next week um, seven of cups. There's somebody here that is looking at other options. You know, um, this could be you, this could be somebody else. Um, you know, looking at other options. Listen, we all have choices. We all have possibilities. We all have the opportunities to create something brand spanking new. Look at the sun. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Let me tell you, before I started this reading, it was dark. It was gray. You know, get yourself out. Pull yourself out of wherever you are because you know what? If you're strong enough to get yourself into bad, bad situations, you're strong enough to get yourself into better situations by doing the work. Okay? All right. We're going to see. Um, let me see. You know what? Some of some of you are having arguments with this person because this person could have been like, you know what, man, I got choices. I got other things that I got to I got other things to choose from. I got other possibilities. There are other things that I want in those cups, you know? And I'm going to tell you in this particular reading, it looks like this is the 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 one that's chosen has the heart in it. Okay? Just saying. They're, they're looking for love. Somebody here is looking for love. Somebody is choosing a love cup, okay? Whoever walked away because of arguments, bullshit. This was a lot of fucking drama. This was drama till the ends of hell, okay? If hell has an end, all right? Let's see what you have here. Knight of Swords, message of truth coming in. Somebody is pissed off. Somebody's going to come in arguing, speaking some truth. You know, this is what happened. This is what I saw. I don't know. Whatever this, whatever the situation is, it's got to do with somebody sending a message of some kind of confession, you know, some kind of truth. Okay. Um, let me see what, let me see if we can find out. What, what, why is the Knight of Swords here? 
Why, why is the Knight of Swords here? Knight of Swords, why is it here? Knight of Swords, why is it here? Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords, why is it here? Please, Universal Energy, Spirit Guides, Ancestors. All right, so we got three. See, six of pen. Oh, my fucking word. <sighs> guys, guys, what? Girls, guys. Women, gentlemen, what is going on? Six of Pentacles, not once but twice. Definitely a breadcrumbing situation. You know, definitely a situation of um, a, a lot of difficulty is what I'm hearing. Three of Swords, there's somebody here. Some of you are heartbroken. This is heartbreak. This is feeling betrayed. I still got over here a, a couple more. Um, and you know, this is, you know, the three of swords is somebody stabbing you in the heart, stabbing you, breaking your heart. That's what it is. It's somebody deciding, you know what? I don't care what's going on. I will break your heart. You know, I don't know little story. And for those of you who, who, whatever, you know what? It is what it is. Um, this is, I'm going to speak. <laughs> Um, I, me and my husband, um, saw the episodes. I don't know for those of you that see, that see Peaky Blinders. Um, I, it, it is on Netflix. I think the last season is coming up. Hopefully, I don't know. I, I think in a couple months it should be out. Should have been out months ago, but with all the COVID stuff, it just got super delayed. I don't like the cards that are in front of me, but I will share those with you. Um, and, you know, when when the girl goes, I, I don't remember her name because we have, you know, the, the last episode was a while back. But she says to him um, something and then she, he says, she says to him, sad or happy? And he says, sad. And then she says, I will break your heart. And he says, already broken. And I just saw 1010. You know, this is the ending for some of you, you know, and I feel that this is the ending because listen, there's no way that you're going to find happiness with the devil. This is the devil energy showing up. I just saw 10, 22. Okay, listen, find your own love. And I'm going to tell you it's here, you know, with the 10 of cups, this is not where you find love. Some of you are not going to find the home, the happiness and everything else, the children. It is not going to happen for those of you that are in a karmic energy. Okay. And I'm going to tell you for me all the way around, this is definitely third party energy with what I see here. And keep in mind that third party energy does not necessarily mean that it needs to be a lover. Oh my God. <laughs> Were you blinded? I'm sorry. So, you know, um, this is karmic. This is low energy. This is low vibration. You know, somebody here opened up the door. This was only here for a lesson. It was only here to learn something. It was only here to tempt you. It took you down the wrong path. Listen, third parties don't end up together ever, ever. Okay. There is no third party in the world that lasts forever, you know, and if they fucking do, listen, there's a lot of things that come to people at the end of their life. You know, nobody gets away with having people in third parties and not paying karmic debt. All right. So you know what, with the devil energy showing up, this is karmic. Okay. This is karmic energy. This is karmic debt. And you know, this is low. Get yourselves out of this. Get yourselves away from this energy. You know, with the heartbreak here, we're going to clarify that three of swords. You're heartbroken. You're heartbroken. Some of you are heartbroken and you need to let go of whatever it is that is still continuously breaking your heart. You know, let's see. Three of cups. Listen, go, go rejoice. Okay. Um, go have a good time with your friends and your family and get yourself out of this energy. Um, a, you know, a cup of love is supposed to be shared with one other person, not two people. I mean, two, not more than two people. Okay. So for those of you that are heartbroken, look for your friends, look for some help, look to, um, you know, see if anybody, if you, listen, if you have that best friend that you can talk to, I have a best friend. We can talk about anything in the fucking world and we can go 
weeks and months without talking to each other and all of a sudden she pops up or I pop up and it's like, what happened? It was like yesterday we were talking, you know, like those months in between or those weeks. Listen, people have their own lives. We don't have time to be, you know, um, there trying to nurture somebody along every which way. You know, this is something that some of you have to do for yourself. Why is the devil energy here? Devil energy and the strength. Listen, find the strength to get away from this. Find the strength to to do what's right for yourself, you know? Let's see. Um, Trying not to make these videos too long. Why is the Six of Pentacles here in the outcome for anybody who's watching? And look at this. I, this is amazing. I don't know. I don't know about you, but I think this is fucking amazing when I do these things. <laughs> okay. You end the, you open the reading with the star and you end the reading with the star. Like, fuck, do I really need to say any more? Some of you really start, you better start doing the work. Like, you better start doing the work, you know, in order for you to get out of this. You know, close up your chapters, put things behind, you know, get yourself rid of whatever you don't need. I'm going to, I'm asking, you know, yeah, it's, it's. I'm just going to ask one last one. Why is the two stars here? Why is there two stars here? Two stars. Why is it here? Let's see. Oh, my God. Four swords. Listen, there's somebody here that's no longer invested. There's somebody here that's no longer interested. There's somebody here that's saying, you know what? I'm no longer looking that way. I'm not looking toward the past. I am just going to lay here and take a break from this whole situation until I figure out what to do. But right now, I have no energy and I'm just going to depart and go into isolation and kind of move away from this energy. And that's what some of you have to do. You know, as long as you continue to be in this energy with this karmic, with this devil energy and, you know, all this heartbreak. Listen, all this was done for a, a, this, all this happened because it was a lesson to be learned. If some of you are still involved in this energy, then some of you, it just means that you are not ready to let go because you just haven't done the work, you know? Thank you so much for being here. I hope that you were able to get something out of this and take care.